You're not, are you doing what you love to do? Are you, are you living in your purpose? Are you living in, in what God has for you? This time on Live Life on Purpose today, I'm talking to athlete and competitive bodybuilder, Chevelle Miss Boss Johnson. Okay, Chevelle, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule of training to be That's with funny. me here. Okay. <laughs> no way, I'm serious. We're recording, yeah. I know, okay. okay. So she's like, okay. I'm being me. <laughs> I'm being me. I gotta bring my A game right now. I done warmed up to the camera. All right, tell me about your journey to becoming female athlete bodybuilder. Um, okay, well, in high school, I've always been athletic. Uh, played basketball in high school, ran a little track, um, and just, I was always attracted to the, to the gym. I used to teach aerobics classes, and then just as I as I entered into the into the fitness world, I just always wanted to challenge myself. Started running, um, enjoyed running for a spurt, and then I just said, you know, I've, I've always wanted to um, to, to bodybuild. Always wanted to bodybuild. Right. Um, since like my early twenties, wanted to bodybuild. I don't know. I did my research on it, asked questions, asked around, re uh, reached out to some pro bodybuilders on Facebook, asked a bunch of questions. Um, see if I had what it took. Everybody was told me I had genetics, always had it in me to do it. When did you compete, your first competition? Tell me um, about that. 2012. I got, that's when I started training for my first um, competition. Mm -hmm. And um, and then my first competition was April 2013. Okay, okay. And how many competitions have you been in since you started doing this seriously? Two. Two. My first show, I, I, um, I placed third. My second show, I placed, I placed third out of four. Um, second show, I placed fourth out of seven, and then this one, this one, I'm going for a win. So with, for the here that I'm the win and I actually accomplished, I've actually uh, conquered this this level. It'll make me feel good. It yeah. made me feel like all of that, all of that was worth it. Um, explain the different levels of female bodybuilding. Different right, classes. Like, these different classes. Okay, yes. you have um, bikini where. They're really lean, not too much muscle, not too much, too many lines. Then you have figure, where they um they are leaner, but they have they have visible lines and muscle. Um, then you have fitness, which is like a, a course between. They can be in anything, but they have um talent. Like they can um they are, they're the ones doing the flips okay. and all that kind of okay. stuff. Um, so like gymnasts. Exactly. Then you have I'm sorry. <laughs> then you have um. Then you have physique, which is myself. Okay. And we're um, a notch down from bodybuilding, okay. but up from figure. Okay. So we're not as lean, right. but we're not as, as uh, big. big looking. Okay. But we do have um, a lot more muscle, a lot more visible lines. Okay. Um, and then you have the bodybuilding level. And these women are huge. Yeah. Okay. And that's just like, it's just basically um, bodybuilding is taking a turn for women. They want it where it's more um, beautiful muscle, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. beautiful women with muscles. Yeah, and let's talk about that because I know, um, I mean, I've thought about this too, it's like I don't want to get in the gym and get big, you mm. know, how would you demystify that whole concept of you're going to look like a man? Because a lot of women think yeah, that. No. Yeah. Um, well, the only way you're going to look like, you're going to look like a man is if you're, uh, you, you're messing around with your estrogen levels and testosterone levels. That's the only way you're gonna look like a man. Right. So the whole myth of you'll look like a man, it's just not, it's not, it's not true. Right. You'll, if anything, I will say, the heavier you go, the bigger you will get. Right. You will, you'll, you'll build muscle mass. Right. Now, right. if you don't want to build muscle mass, then no, you don't need to lift heavy. heavy. Right. But um, just, just regular, you know, regular, normal, average lifting is not bad. Actually, that's, that's the way of burning fat. Lifting weights helps to burn fat. Right. Talk to me about discipline. What does that word discipline mean to you? You might as well say bodybuilding discipline. Okay. Because if you don't have discipline, you definitely can't do it. Mm -hmm. um, the average person can't come in and and cook every two days, you know, uh, the same food, eat the same food for weeks at a time, um, have time to uh, actually stop. Like, at, you know, I said earlier, I said, we gotta hurry up because it's almost time for me to eat. I'm gonna have to go eat. Like, no matter what, yeah. I have to eat. Right. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm always constantly walking around with a lunch bag. I'm always walking around with my water. I have to, I have to make sure I get this stuff in. It's like second nature to Wait. me. It does take a lot of discipline. How can you go to somebody's, um, uh, after work party <laughs> affair at a bar yeah. with a lunch bag. Right. I've done it. I didn't feel I didn't feel comfortable. Right. You know because it's like I'm walking in here with a lunch bag and people are looking at me like why does she have a, a lunch bag? Yeah. Live life on purpose. Okay. I always say this. You're not living unless you're living in your dreams. You're not living unless you're living and doing what you want to do, doing what you love. I feel like I'm not, I haven't lived until I started until I started bodybuilding. Now I feel like 
like I'm living because I'm just like I'm doing what I want to do I'm doing what I love to do um, no matter what comes my way no matter what obstacle hits me I'm still going doing what I love mm -hmm. and just being able to, to walk in your passion or be able to share your passion or, or let people see that you know you love something so much no matter what comes my way no matter what Word, what, how, what people say, because you know people always say stuff. I, I get the whole, she look like a man, or why you want to look like a man, or why you do this, or why you walk around with lunch bag all day, or why you, I, I hear all kind of, and at first it used to offend me, you don't understand because you're not, are you doing what you love to do? Are you are you living in your purpose? Are you living in, in what God has for you? I was genetically born for this. Mm -hmm. Like this is, this is, this is the body God gave me. He gave me these athletic genes. He gave me, um, he blessed me with, um, with the ability to have the discipline to lose fat and gain muscle and to be a female that's strong or a female that has so much muscle. My purpose is to educate others. My purpose is to um, to do what I love in terms of bodybuilding. Mm -hmm. I still just feel like every level in my life is, is me um, walking in my purpose. Right. Da, 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 da.